The Pirate Ship Voyage might be the smallest set of the new LEGO Minecraft Summer 2024 wave, but by no means is it the least. These 166 pieces pack quite the punch, so hey, let's take a closer look. Thank you to LEGO for sending me this set early to review. You're going to be able to pick it up on June 1st from LEGO.com. For such a small set, I am kind of blown away by how much is happening here. The set includes two mobs, a side build, a main build, and two new player skins. There's a lot to look at. The players included here are my favorites of the summer lineup. First, we get the Swashbuckler. He's wielding a tropical fish and a one by one green tile, which I'm not entirely sure uh, what that is. It could be any number of things in the Lego Minecraft world and your imagination's the limit. But his skin looks really great. Love his expression. Cannot wait to add this guy to my Lego Minecraft world. And then there's the Buccaneer. Now, besides the skin tone matching being absolutely atrocious, I love everything else that's going on with this figure. She's got an iron sword, and interestingly enough, my set had an extra one, which isn't listed in the set's inventory. So if you get an extra one in the set too, let me know. It's a really nice addition so that both pirates can get swords. They're both crew members here on this lovely little vessel, which is pretty effective given the constraints of the parts budget here. If you want, you can actually bend the mast over to make something of a shipwreck while not 100% accurate to the game. I think it's a fun little feature. And I guess I imagine the sail here being made up of banners, and that very much makes sense in my mind. You've got lanterns on the back, and then one of the printed map tiles. It's nothing new, unfortunately, but a nice inclusion here. Gotta have some pirates with a treasure map. Honestly, this thing might even float for a little while. Probably better than the Dermstrain ship did, at least. Then there's the tiniest of side builds here, a little dock. You've got another cactus, the same one that was originally introduced earlier this year in January, and that's also included in the Badlands Mineshaft. Again, I really like this design, and I'm glad that they've committed to it. And then there's two really exciting mobs. We're getting the squid again for the first time since its appearance in the Ocean Monument, which was not a cheap or easy to get set. Really excited to have that back here in such an affordable model. They're a pretty important part of the game. You really can't get away from them. And now anybody can get themselves a squid. And then we get the adult camel. It's a pretty big mob, no doubt about it. But what's really fun about this is that you can easily have two players ride it just like you do in game. And then there's some new prints introduced with it too with these two by four tiles on the side to show the saddling on the guy. And then he's still got leg articulation too. And the guy can even lay down like that, which is pretty perfect and exactly what you would want from a camel design. If you're looking for a set that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck, this is it. There's just so much stuff for $15, new stuff too. Two new player skins is kind of crazy. There's a lot of adventure to be had in this set. But let me know what you think. That's all I've got for this one. Have yourself a great life and I'll see you later.